In this video, I'm going to go through how to pick up Deluge Script if you're not from a programming background or even if you are. I started working with Deluge Script as part of Zoho Creator about five years ago. I had a client for a project and Zoho Creator seemed like a good fit. At the time, the documentation was a bit patchy. You didn't have nice things like Deluge, the Learn Deluge Script. There's this whole e-learning course that you can do. Back then, all we had to go off was the Zoho Deluge documentation, and we had the forums. You're very blessed these days. So if I were you, I would start off with this course, creator.zoho.com slash learn deluge. It allows you to go through all of the language elements. We've got this nice tour to help you. It will take you step by step. You've got this interactive coding laboratory here that you can play with. By the time you've done this, you'll have a bit of an overview of what is possible, what the data types are, conditional statements, debugging, and uh, lists and maps, you'll have a bit of an idea from that. But to really learn, you need to start playing with it with real exercises. In the next couple of videos, I'm going to give you some exercises to do to test your deluge skills and to walk you through how to progressively solve harder and harder problems. As well as doing the deluge online course, you will want to consult the documentation. It's broken down into the overall areas. I find the thing that I go back to most often is built-in functions. If I want to see what you can do with a string or with a map or with trigonometry, you can go there. I also find if I just Google deluge, add days to date, It'll find me. Hmm. We have to put Zoho in there as well. Yeah, built in functions related to date and time. The, it's a bit hard to navigate using the, these menu items here, but after a while you, you'll get the hang of where to find stuff. The other thing, too, is that you have Script Builder. I personally don't really like using it, I find it slows me down, but in the beginning, you may find it helpful to drag and drop things like for each record where you can choose your row and your form collection and it will pre-write some of the code for you. They've also got code auto-completion as well. I'll put in the available variables. It doesn't always work but it can be helpful some of the time. In the next couple of videos we're going to go through a few exercises. So, First step is to do that Learn Deluge course and after you've done that come back for some more advanced